How could this happen? One moment Miguel's here in my arms, and then poof, he, he's flying off in the middle of the night to Mexico to save his mom and sister. And would you stop eating all this chocolate? Miguel's in danger. Your precious Miguel is the reason I'm eating all this chocolate. It's the only thing that sows the emptiness inside me because Miguel has made me swear not to use magic. Oh, no wonder people who give up smoking gain weight. I'm going to be a blimp in a week at this rate, but it'll be worth every luscious mouthful. Well, we have to do something. That's right. Let's do it. Let, let's, let's cast a little spell and bring Teresa and Pilar back home. No, Tabitha, no magic. Well, then, let his mother and his sister's demise be on his head because I can do nothing. Your pompous twit of a boyfriend is blackmailing me, Gay, threatening me to expose me as a witch. Yeah, well, he's just trying to do the right thing. Now, what are we going to do? What if he gets hurt? Hurt? Huh. He'll probably be dead the moment he steps off the plane. What? What's happening? What, what is that? No, it's what? I don't hear anything. <sighs> I wish this flight didn't take so long. I should have never taken the Concorde out of service. Last report they brought to me at the airport confirms what Rebecca said. And worse, this Juanita Vasquez woman is a notorious criminal. Think, uh, female godfather. Just can't figure out how Mama is possibly tied to this woman. At last. Do what you want with me. Get it over with. Oh, I will. You will finally get the punishment you deserve for killing my family. Dead. What about the other one, Teresa? Tell me you killed her. Sorry, senor. She escaped from one of my men on the way back from the wharf. No! Teresa has to die, too. I want her ripped to pieces. No one is going to die, you bitch. Get ready, Mama. I'm coming to rescue you. I would hold the hand of the one who could leave me places And kiss the lips of the one who could sing so sweet Hear yeah, what? All I can hear is your annoying voice. Oh, thanks. You can't hear that organ music. Organ mi Organ music? Yeah, it's like someone playing right in the next room. Ooh, creepy. It's like Vincent Price in some horror movie. Oh, dear. Oh, I, I'm so sorry, Kay. Sorry about what? Well... Organ music is a sign. It means that someone close to you is going to die. Miguel? You believe this, though? I mean, every time we turn around, there's something weird happening in Harmon. No doubt about that. You should have seen the way Fancy was acting earlier. It's like this whole town's under a curse or something. It is magic. Anyway, we should all try and get some rest. As soon as we land, we're going to hit the ground running. Who knows when the next chance to get some shut eye will be. Yeah, good luck falling asleep in the coach here. Yeah, well, some of us are used to it, pal.
final heat. Why did I follow Miguel down to Mexico? <sighs> That's why. My darling witch, I return to you. My hero. Too hot to touch you. It's an inferno. What have you done, witch? Is this more of your black magic? No, 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 my love. This is your magic, you He-Man. You cast a spell on me. Now my temperature is rising. I can't help myself. I must have you. I know. I want you to. Well, what do we do? I'm almost on fire. Should we risk it? We might burn the place down, but it's worth it. It must have gone up 30 degrees in here. Oh, I can take it if you can. I want you. Where is Teresa Pilar? You know. Even if I did, I wouldn't tell you. Your attempt at escape was foolish. It will only make matters worse for you. Your threats mean nothing to me. Death is death. It comes to us all one way or another. I hope that it's as far away from us right now. Well, she can run, but she cannot hide. You don't understand. As long as I am alive, no one in your family is safe. I will not rest until I kill you all. How do I save Mama? And then what happens after that? I mean, how do we get out of Mexico when we don't have any passports, we don't have any identification? No, there's got to be a way back to Harmony. I've got to get back to Ethan and my children. ever forgive me and come back to me. Do you really need to ask? You look beautiful. And it's no wonder that I fell in love with you. I missed you so much. I thought this night would never come. not to come. Nancy. I'm so sorry I'm late. It's all right. I was afraid to come. Afraid of me? No, no, I'm just afraid you'd never forgive me for my crazy behavior. I can't explain it. These spells come over me for no reason. We'll figure out what it is, and then we'll work through it together. Love you. Of course, I forgive you. Don't ever let me go. Will she only be mine in a fantasy? Okay, this music is awful. What, what do you mean someone's going to die? Who? Miguel? But I know. Well, you're the witch. Well, you're a witch, too. I'd be grateful if I were you. 
You've been given a, a vision, a glimpse of the future. Well, are you sure this organ music means death? Maybe it's just a sign that I haven't been going to church enough. Yeah, well, you got the church bit right. It's organ music from a funeral in a church. <gasps> it's a classic portent from the dark side. It signifies death. The death of someone very close to you. of hell to return to me. Thank you, Miguel, for your wisdom. You were right. You're always right. I have no need for magic, because when you stopped me from using my magic, my life became so much better. You and you alone have transformed harmony from a place of evil to a paradise of happiness and love. You are so hot. Even hotter than I remember. I love you. We'll be married soon. We'll spend the rest of our lives together. I can't wait. Talk, Pilar. There's no point hiding the truth. I will find out. Where do you live in the United States and where are your other children and your grandchildren? <laughs> you think you are so strong. <laughs> well, you can't hold out forever. We have so many ways of making you talk. Get it. Do you know what they say, Pilar? A taser. Yes, it's another useful export from the United States. Oh, God. Listen to me. You can't go to Mexico to talk to Juanita. Please. That woman only has one thing on her mind, and that's revenge against me and my loved ones. If you find her, she's not going to give you a chance to talk. The minute she realizes who you are, she's going to kill you. Just like she kills my sister and her sons. And then she'll come to Harmony and kill us all. She can't tease her mama. I mean, nobody can withstand those things. Tell me where your family lives, Pilar. Or the pain begins. <laughs> Will you talk? Do your worst. No! Did you hear something? No. Someone is outside. Go check it out. Thank you. 
I get caught, Mama will not be able to escape. We'll never get back to Harmony. We'll never see our family. We have to stop this music. It's driving me crazy. It'll stop when you acknowledge that you've received the message. Uh, I got it. Death is coming. Woohoo! Knock it off. You know, you really must mind your manners when it comes to the dark side, Kay. You wouldn't enjoy your life as a cockroach, you know. Well, well maybe this is just a, a general warning, right? I mean, we don't know that death is coming for Miguel. I hate to tell you this, Kay. But when a young, untrained witch receives an auditory premonition, it usually relates to her own life or the lives of friends and family. You mean death could be coming for Maria? Well, I hope not. No, Maria isn't the dim bulb who took a plane in search of danger. Oh, this is a disaster. What do I do? Do what we all do when we're in stress, dear. never fight again okay because i love you and i want to be with you forever and if we do fight let's just promise that we'll work it out okay i will i promise i feel so awful i was such a monster before you left for mexico no it's okay don't worry about that besides i'm back i'm safe and i have you in my arms never let me go <laughs> oh you know what let's get married Let's do it, okay? No more waiting, because I want to start a family with you and Marty, too. <laughs> That's exactly what I want. Okay. Just kiss me. Oh. Fly to the North Pole where it's cooler. No, Miguel, the ice cap is melting too much as it is. <sighs> oh, we'll think of something. <sighs> Try one of these with the brown sprinkles on top. They're my favorite, cafe au lait. This doesn't seem right. Oh, don't say that. Chocolate is the only food that is perfect for every occasion. When you get to my age, <laughs> it's even better than romance. Oh, I forgot. You won't ever get to my age, will you? <laughs> Did you hear that? What? Oh, no, not again. Yeah, no, it's weird sound. I don't know what that is. Look, oh, try and describe it. It's odd. It, it, I don't know. It sounds like a shuffle. Like someone's digging a hole. Gardening, maybe? Anything else? Yeah, it sounds like the, the dirt is falling off the shovel and it's hitting something. Okay. What? What is it? When this dirt falls and hits something, does it sound a teeny bit hollow? Yeah. Yeah. The dirt is, is, is falling into the grave onto a coffin. <sighs> My man is looking for me. What do I do? Do I... Do I stay or do I just 
Go. Is there a better hiding spot somewhere else? Or do I just make a run for it? Oh, God. oh no, I'm not leaving Mama like this. No way. Tell me where your family lives. I need the locations and the names. Never. You asked for it. No, you stop this! You stop this right now! No, no! Let me go! I've got her, Senora! Get off me! Excellent! No! no. Mama! No, I, I can't get this out of my head. I, I keep hearing the, the dirt being shoveled into a grave. Oh, I'm sorry, dear. I really am. Have a, have a nice buttercream. No! Oh, this is driving me crazy. Oh, oh, I know these audio premonitions can be like that, and it's probably worse for you. I mean, because of that stupid oath that Miguel made us both take, your, your magical powers are, are probably all backed up. And there's nothing worse than spectral constipation, believe me, I know. What do I do? Well, uh, there is a metaphysical musal in my bathroom. I'll get it. Uh, oh, oh, no, 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 no. I gave the last of it to Fluffy when he ate the delivery boy from Tally Chins. All that rice bunged him up. Uh, ah, it's getting louder. Tap the make it stop. I can't stand this. Oh, no. Ah! Oh, no, no, okay. Ah! Oh, you, oh you, 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 your premonitions are manifesting. What does that mean? I, I don't know, but it can't be good. Ow, make it stop. Tabitha, make it stop. <laughs> we are married. <laughs> Mm. Oh, the wedding was so beautiful. I didn't even notice. I couldn't take my eyes off you. Make love to me, Louise. No. We're on the wharf. Well, it's your dream, Louise. We can do anything we want. What is that? Sleeping bag. Where were we? Juanita wants you. And what Juanita wants is what Juanita gets. You let go of me. I'm coming, Mama! Get off me! It gets so 
stop, Tabitha, make it stop! <laughs> Time left at all. Kay, Kay, wake up! Oh, you poor stupid girl. I shouldn't have needled her like that. Mortal minds are just too weak for my brilliant sarcasm. Oh, damn that interfering, Miguel. This is all his fault. He made us take that stupid oath not to use magic, or we would have brought. Teresa and Pilar and the whole bloody lot of them back from Mexico by now. Kay, Kay, wake up, dear. Miguel should be here, then everything would be fine. Instead, he's hurtling towards Mexico and death. Oh, okay. Oh, oh thank Hades. Yeah. Yeah. What happened? It's gone. The organ music, the shoveling. <laughs> Wait, th th that's a good sign, right? Does that mean Death changed his mind? I'm going to remember that little stunt, Teresa. I think it will add about an hour of agony to your existence before I put you out of your misery. I'm not afraid of you. Oh, you should be. You know, I was always so envious of Pilar's talents as a cook. But, you know, I have talents, too. I have become an expert on torture. Both of you will soon discover that the nervous system is a fine-tuned instrument designed to deliver pain. And on the way, both of you will tell me everything I want to know about your family so I can kill you all. You're not going to break us. Oh. <laughs> I have broken trained killers. I have broken undercover agents from my country and yours. Do you really think that two frightened and tired women pose a challenge to me? <laughs> Those horrible sounds stop, so that must mean that, that death isn't coming from Miguel, right? It was all just a big mistake. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry, Kay. Feel your ear. Yeah. Oh, I'm afraid you've managed to burst your magical inner eardrum. But don't worry, it'll heal up in a few days. The point is, death is coming for sure. Well, maybe Miguel's not the target. I mean, you looked in, into the bowl and you saw Pilar and Teresa. You saw death coming to them. Yes, but that was my vision. You've been given a premonition for someone else's death. Oh, it can't be, Miguel. It can't be. If you hadn't temporarily ruined your magical hearing, you would hear the latest premonition that's seeking you out. Death is flying in on his big black horse. And now we know where he's planning to land. Where? Look. <gasps> Oh, 
You can. Oh. I love making love to you. It's magic. It's your magic. Oh. Tonight, with you, is right up the charts. Don't stop. Let's try to set a record. We might blow up the village. because you say you've had a premonition from the dark side. M make this stuff go away. Yeah, the message is for you, Kay. Just say message received. Fine. Message received. Adios. What am I supposed to do? Well, I can't decide for you, but I know what I'd do. I would use my powers of magic. Bring the man you love home, dear. And, and his mother, and his sister, and his brother, and Ethan. Miguel will be furious. Oh, so what? He'll be safe, and so will they. All right, we're going to have to protect ourselves. Once we get to the airport, I've got an undercover guy meeting us with some items we couldn't get through customs. But from there, we're on our own. And once we get to the hotel, we're going to show Mama and Teresa's picture around. Hopefully someone will recognize them. We better be awfully careful if we start asking questions about this Juanita Vasquez. She's as dangerous and corrupt as people say she is. We could all end up dead. Yeah, well, that's a chance we're going to have to take. We have to rescue Mama and Teresa. I just wish Teresa had confided in me, you know? I mean, I mean if anything happens to her, I'm going to be... Can we just try and stay positive here? Yeah. All right, what we're going to have to do here is basic detective work. We're not going to run around and tire ourselves out. It's not like we can just wave a magic wand and have Mama and Teresa magically appear. Actually, we could. I mean, I could use magic. That, that what is lost may be found spell we used to find in Dora's machete. Mm, yes, but on a much larger scale, of course. Go on, Kay. Do it. I'll help you. There's still some zebra sweat left in the freezer. No, I can't. Why? Why not? Because Miguel was adamant. He said no magic. If I cast a spell that big, uh, he'll break up with me. I see. But it's all right if he dies. And his mother. And his sister. Oh, I don't know what to do. 
Yeah, well, you'd better make up your mind fast, Kay, because the dark side doesn't like to be kept waiting. No one escapes from me. I will kill you and your whole damn family. Adam, get to the boat! This is a bit Tennessee Williams, if you ask me. Uh, but the boys on the dark side do tend to go a bit over the top when they have to deliver a message. Now listen, dear. What am I supposed to do? It's really very clear. You, you've had four. Count them. Four explicit warnings of death tonight. Your organ music, earth filling a grave, Mexican maracas, and now dying flowers. Someone is going to die in Mexico. And the only thing that can stop this from happening is magic. But Miguel hates magic. He's usually easygoing about everything, but he's not about this. He is absolutely determined to eradicate it from harmony. I see. So what's your plan? That we both sit around doing nothing, stuffing ourselves with chocolates, watching our bottoms grow bigger? I don't know. Well, you better hope that the person who dies in Mexico isn't Miguel. Because death is there, waiting to collect. Ole! Aren't you ready yet? Just about. Well, hurry. We will find Pilar and Teresa. And this time, I won't wait. I will kill them immediately. That's in your seat, pals. Landing. Everybody say a prayer. We find Mama and Teresa soon. We gotta rescue her. We will. Yeah, but where are they? Are we gonna get there in time? Teresa! Teresa! Can you hear me? Teresa! Sharks, me! Oh, God. Here's the boat. Here's the boat. 